very much. My name is Rich Green. I work with the Pennsylvania Motorcycle Safety Program. It's a state program that's designed to teach beginning motorcyclists and experienced motorcyclists how to become safer and more aware when riding on the road. There's typically 20,000 people that go through the course um, each year um, over the past probably 10 years or so, but the numbers do seem to be going a little bit down. It's a 15 hour course where five hours is spent in a classroom and 10 hours is spent on a range. The classroom is, operates in a, more of a collaborative format, so uh, we try to get a lot more interaction amongst the students, which makes it a little easier to, to learn. The range component takes place over two days and there's a total of 17 exercises. Upon completion of both the, uh, the classroom part and the range part, if you pass each of the evaluations and exams that follow, um, you could be licensed or get the motorcycle endorsement on your license. We see a lot of people who take the course to, to get the license, but the course is really designed for people who have um, basically zero experience. Beginner motorcycles are, are uh, offered for people to use, and uh, they're a very they're a small size that are pretty conducive to beginning riders. In the advanced courses that we teach, there's a BRC2 and an advanced rider course, and uh, each of those you take on your own motorcycle. Could you please repeat what kind of motorcycles you can take? Um, their, their own motorcycle, their own person. BRC2. Oh, the BRC2 and the advanced rider course.
in the course. One of the uh, things that we always emphasize is the, uh, the fact that crashes are usually a result of an interaction of factors. Maybe the sun is setting, so light isn't real good. Um, you're on a road that you might not know. It might be raining, and there might be a dog, and your phone rings, and you look down. Whether you're driving a car or anything, that distracted driving is pretty bad. Just the fact that motorcyclists don't have that big shell around them um, makes it a lot more dangerous. So basic instruction does help to let people know of the, the risks. emphasize safety equipment and how much of a difference that can help in, in accidents and especially the use of helmets. because in our state um, you can ride motorcycles without helmets but it really is something that we try to urge students and people in taking our courses to um, wear a helmet because it does make a, a huge difference. for the course is derived from 30 years of people studying motorcycle safety and uh, the Motorcycle Safety Foundation is the, the leading researcher in that. set up pretty simply where each exercise builds upon the next so every skill um, will prepare you for the next exercise. themes that we have throughout our courses is to urge motorcyclists to keep their head up because when they're looking up they're able to see see the road and see things around them a lot better. There's an acronym for that as well, for the, the C part, which um, SEE, and it stands for Search, Evaluate, and Execute. One of our 
hopes is that even people that take our course, whether they do or don't ride motorcycles, is that they'll at least be better drivers because they'll be looking more for motorcyclists. 